If you haven't already heard the new conversational AI voice created by the company Air AI, then you're going to hear it in this video. And I'm also going to provide a review of the platform itself and then give you my updated and honest feedback along the way. And also towards the end of this video, I'm also going to share with you a way I discovered how to make this tool work really well. I basically just hijacked it and it works for what I intended it for. And that's generating leads cold calling. So let's dive right in and I'll start off with a sample of where the voice was and then actually through a cold call review, I'll share my takeaways and then show you the platform itself as I provide feedback on what I like and what I don't like. And then don't miss out on this. After that, I'll share with you the new AI voice model and what's changed for me and my business in addition to showing you exactly how I hijacked it. And if you want to, you can too. So right away before I press play on this old AI voice model, you should know that this AI voice is actually generating motivated seller leads for me in the niche of real estate investing that has led to closed deals. But there has been a huge problem that I ran into and I'll also share that in this review. So keep that in mind as you listen to this actual replay of a real cold call to a prospect. Let's take a listen. Hey, Narijus. Yeah. It's Alex from Heroes of Real Estate. How's your day going so far? Well, good. So it looks like you own the property located at... Is that correct? Yes. Great. Well, the reason for my call is to see if you'd have any interest in selling your property for an all-cash offer or on creative terms. We are an investment firm and would be happy to put together a formal offer on your property if you have any interest. Yes, I do. That's fantastic to hear. I'm glad you're open to the possibility. Before we proceed, I just have a few questions about the property. Do you have a couple of minutes to answer them? Yes. Awesome. I appreciate your time. First off, I'm curious, how quickly are you looking to sell the property? Soon is better. Got it. Speed is important to you. And are there any other decision makers involved in this property? Anyone no. else on the deed or title besides yourself? No. All right. It's just you then. Now, is there anything that needs attention or repair in the property? Any major issues with the roof, siding, foundation, or any major appliances? No. That's good to know. Lastly, what is you considering selling the property? Is there a specific reason or circumstance that's motivating you? No. I understand sometimes circumstances change. One last question before I let you go. Do you have a price range in mind that you'd like to see for the property? This will help my team put together the best offer for you. you hand that one in. So a couple of points that really have to be addressed. This is number one, a straight up cold call. That means I pulled the data from a list provider, then I got it skip traced and I generated the list of phone numbers and uploaded it into Air AI to create a campaign as using this platform. And number two, this prospect didn't have any idea that they were talking to a robot. <laughs> I would argue with you if you suggested that this is borderline unethical, but I'm not convinced either way. Not right now anyway. So for me, it's still up for debate. But the result tells me that this person was in fact interested in my offer. So in my case, it's an offer on your property. In your case, it might be a product, an offering or service. But that leads me to point number three, which is actually my biggest takeaway. And that is despite all of my presuppositions that I had going into this, the Air AI agent brought value to the prospect. And as far as my business is concerned, we generated a new lead. So in my opinion, well, that older conversational AI voice that you just heard isn't a 10 out of 10, the results matter more to me. It's more important that it actually works despite some of the things that I'd rather see changed. We're back, baby! And I'd love to know if you agree with that or not. And if not, what are your thoughts? Just comment below and let me know. Now, as far as the platform itself is concerned, well, let's take a look at that. So once you activate your account, instead of landing at a dashboard, you're gonna land on the create tab and it's fine if there's no dashboard. I just thought it was interesting because it'd be nice to see an overview of the performance of my campaigns at a glance. Instead, those are sort of appropriately in the campaigns tab, which I'll show you in a bit. Now on this create tab, you have two additional subsections. One where all the agents you've created hang out and they're housed and another that's called the knowledge base. And that's where all of your knowledge bases are housed. And I like the way that they laid this out. Actually, it's pretty straightforward and simple to grasp. So to create a new agent, you simply hit the new agent button. 
you name it, and then you select a use case. By the way, use that name as to what script it is. But regardless of which one of these options you choose, it gives you the option of either standard or advanced. Honestly, I'd recommend you choose standard, especially if you don't have a lot of experience with prompt engineering. But I will say that right here, this magically generate using AI as far as your script lacks a bit to be desired, especially when it comes to the outcome. It just has you copy and paste a script into a blank scripting palette, and it's likely that you'll have to do some heavy lifting anyway, so you might as well just stick to a script that you know and it works for you, and then follow the best practices as far as prompt engineering the script that's laid out in another video I'll link in the description around conversational AI template, Air AI how to. So that being said, let's move to the knowledge base. And the knowledge base, honestly, it's probably one of my favorite parts. You can basically create flashcards, the titles of which will be the key words or phrases that people would commonly say, especially questions that prospects would ask while speaking with your AI agent. While the agents do a pretty good job without a knowledge base, having one that's attached, that's built in a robust way will actually separate your AI from anyone else that's plugging away at this. So it really is just easy to create. You hit new knowledge base and you choose one of two options. You either upload a document, which doesn't always work as well as you'd think. There is a specific way to structure that document or you add them one by one like flashcards. One thing I use this for are sales gambits. So I integrated a lot of sales tactics and responses to common objections to help the AI get to the bottom of what I as a real estate investor need to know to qualify a prospect as a lead or not. Now, moving along the contacts tab, it's pretty basic and it's not really a robust CRM by any stretch. You have lists that you can do very little with and here the display of all your contacts, regardless of what list they're in, just kind of lives right here. And this is where you'd upload skip trace prospect lists to initiate campaigns which of course can be executed on the campaigns tab. And frankly, after using this for just a few campaigns in this account and another one, I quickly realized that it's not really a great marketing platform either. If you still wanted to use their platform to run your AI cold calling campaigns, it's simple enough. Just click the new campaign button up here and you'll get some terms of use that you're gonna have to agree to before setting a campaign up. But once you agree to that, you name it under the box called call source, whatever you're calling this campaign. Now choose whether it's an inbound or an outbound, which by the way, I think it's really cool that you can have an inbound call feature with Air AI as well. Then select the agent that you've created. And really another way to say this is this is just a spot where you choose the script or the prompt engineered script that you've created and then you select the list that you uploaded and lastly you just set a budget and then hit save and launch like i said that's pretty simple to grasp now before i get to the recording tab there are a few things that i think are worth mentioning things that i like about the platform and actually sort of in theory like about the platform and that's this i like that you can have team members which is really helpful if someone else is prompt engineering your scripts and creating your knowledge bases for you. And I really want to like the booking ability. While it's really cool what functionality can be built to have the AI actually look at a calendar and schedule calls for you live while they're on the phone with a prospect and even send a calendar link to someone's cell phone automatically, it's just simply not that intuitive as I'd really like it to be more simple to understand how to do that. So again, this is why I really like the team member ability because I do have a team that's a whole lot smarter than me in this area and they've created insanely high performing models with this platform. Now, so far it might sound like I'm not a huge fan of the platform and if it does sound like that, it's because I'm not. I literally worked with my team to build a completely separate marketing and lead management platform to run Air AI. It took over eight months, but now it's running at the highest level. And here's the reason, because I really do, what I like about this platform is I see the conversational AI that Air AI has built performing and it just keeps getting better. 
So as far as the conversational AI voice is concerned, that's where they really hit it out of the park. And I get it, Air AI doesn't need to do everything well. They do one thing really well. They've made a stellar conversational AI bot that is really customizable by virtue of the scripting that you put into it and the knowledge base you attach to it, which actually can be good or bad depending on your ability to prompt and speak robot. So that said, they're lacking in being a robust marketing platform to use this tool at a high level. It doesn't meet my needs and they're absolutely dropping the ball when it comes to a CRM because I can't manage these leads very well. And that is what I mentioned before, the very big problem, that huge problem that had been very glaring for me. And of course, it's become less of a problem when I was able to use one feature I'm gonna share with you that I love about Air AI next, which is as a result of this feature that they don't need to be a great marketing platform or a great CRM. They just need to continue to crush it with conversational AI. And to that point, the API integration is what really sells this for me, precisely because we don't need to rely on their platform for marketing or for lead management. In fact, one really incredible feature I love about Air AI that we send via API into our custom platform is under the recordings tab, so we can navigate there. Of course, the recordings tab all houses the recordings, which is great. But further to the right, you can click on the read option under the column transcript and notes. And it automatically both transcribes the conversation and provides notes that are displayed in a similar way that we like to see our traditional cold call agents and our SMS agents for that matter, send notes along to our CRM with the lead. So this feature, it just makes it so much easier for us to trigger an automation into ChatGPT and then from there into our custom platform so that it displays the notes exactly as we'd like them to be displayed so we don't have to listen to every single recording. We can understand what took place in the call and all of the main points that were covered. At this point, you've heard the old AI voice model in that live replay and I've shared takeaways about that as well as the platform itself now, as I promised you, I'll share with you where the AI voice is right now. And after I do, because I've already actually shared with you what changed for me in my business since hijacking the Air AI platform, I'll point you to where you can check out what we built if you're into it, so you can leverage it too. Now, there's actually not just one new AI voice model, but there's seven, and they really are impressive. So I'll share a few and then if you wanna check out the rest yourself, you can create an account for yourself. It's free to sign up, although they may still be offering you discounted minutes in bulk through the sign up process, which if you're not interested, just skip it and you'll get through to your new account. So to sample these new AI voices, we're in a previously created agent that's already been prompt engineered and it's got a knowledge base attached to it. And now if we wanted to change the name of the agent and then change the AI personality, we just have to click right over here and we can sample each of those voices before we change that voice or personality. And this one is their standard American male voice. All right, cool. Sounds good. Well, uh, we'll we'll kind of dive into it. I'm I'm glad we were able to chat today. Um, I know you had uh, you're talking. You talked to Matt for a minute. He had kind of filled me in on some of the conversation. But uh, I I just wanted to take some time and and kind of figure out. I mean, you obviously wanted to take time and figure out if we can kind of can help continue building your business. Um, I'm assuming at this point you probably watched and learned quite a bit about how we do this on our pre-call video, correct? For me, that's incredible but I actually like this female Southern accent better, especially because a large base of our investing occurs in the Southern region of the United States. So let's take a listen to this and tell me what you think. All right, cool. Sounds good. Well, uh, we'll kind of dive into it. I'm glad we were able to chat today. And I know you had, um, you talked to Matt for a minute, so he kind of filled me on some of the conversation y'all had, but I just wanted to take some time and kind of figure out if we can help continue building your business. And um, I'm assuming at this point, you probably watched and learned quite a bit about how we do this on our pre-call video, correct? Are you impressed? What's more impressive is the fact that I'm still impressed 
having been on the nitpicking side of these models for the last few months as we've continued to build out the scripts and integrate them into this platform to make these AI agents shine. But I'll play a sample, one more sample of this soft-spoken American female voice because I think this is really cool too and I'm sure you're probably gonna like it. All right, cool, sounds good. Well, we'll kind of dive into it. I'm glad we were able to chat today. I know you talked to Matt for a minute. He had kind of filled me in on some of the conversation, but I just wanted to take some time and kind of figure out if we can help continue building your business. I'm assuming at this point, you've probably watched and learned quite a bit about how we do this on our pre-call video, correct? Pretty cool, right? There's a whole lot more, as you can see. You can even see there's an Australian accent here. It's a little further south than we invest, but it's actually killer, and it's one of my favorite accents in general. We're just not using it in our US base calls. No offense, Australia, I love you guys. You come from down but you'll wanna sign up and check it out for yourself. In fact, because no matter how cool this voice is, the AI will only give results you're looking for if you've scripted it out properly. So if you do wanna sign up, I'll hook you up with a few scripts that we've already created. Just go to aicoldcallers.com backslash scripts. While I'm personally a real estate investor, we've hijacked Air AI and we have scripting for clients who are in the real estate agent space, those who are in the solar industry, as well as scripts for the insurance business, even the dental industry. And of course, we have it for real estate wholesaling and investing. So at aicoldcallers.com backslash scripts, just select what industry you're in follow the steps to sign up for Air AI, and we'll send you those scripts for free. And while you're poking around aicoldcallers.com, you can check out more about how we're leveraging that marketing and lead management system to really automate the outbound lead generation, leveraging the power of this Air AI platform. So in the meantime, I'd love to hear what you like and what you don't like about the platform that is Air AI. Does this conversational AI concern you? Or are you pumped about it? For me, honestly, I still haven't made up my mind, but I can appreciate the positive impact that it can have on my business and my life, and frankly, yours too. I do, however, have concerns about what impact this might have on employees who make their living cold calling on the phones, which is exactly what I share in this next video. I'll give a side-by-side -side comparison of our traditional cold call team's metrics as well as the AI cold callers and speak about what changes we've made in our team based on those numbers. So I'll see you right here in this next video.